Here is a second example of synthetic division. What I'm going to do is take the number after the x, the plus 3, and use the opposite sign. So I'm going to use a negative 3 and place it in a little box over here. I'm going to use the coefficients, but I want to use all the powers. So I do have a 1 on the x to the third, but I don't have an x squared. So I'm going to place a 0 on my x squareds. Next I have a negative 4 on my x and a 6 as my constant. Skip a row and place a line underneath. I'm going to bring the 1 down. Then I say negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. I'm going to add those. I'm always multiplying what's in the box times what's under the line. So negative 3 and negative 3 makes 9. I'm going to add down. Negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. I'm going to add down. Signs are different, so I'm actually subtracting, keeping the larger sign. The first was an x to the third, so my answer is going to be x squared. This was an x squared, so I'm going to do one less power, which is an x. I'm going to place a plus sign to separate it. And this is my remainder. So to write my answer, I can say x squared minus 3x plus 5 with a remainder of negative 9. However, I could write it as its own term. So I'd have my x squared minus 3x plus 5. And I'm going to place my remainder over what I was dividing by. I was dividing by x plus 3. So my answer is x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus 9 over x plus 3.